Now, he may be one of the most outrageous performers in show business, but Robbie Williams has admitted even he is plagued by self-doubt. The rock god has lifted the lid on his fear of failure, admitting he still panics and worries over releasing new music, even after so many years in the industry. Ida, for someone who looks so confident on stage, I can't believe that. You know, I think that's the um, juxtaposition, the the magic of his contradiction is he's this very confident, outward, charismatic performer, and personally, he's really shy and sensitive and sweet and humble. He doesn't, you know, we don't wake up in the morning, he doesn't go, wow! <laughs> you know, it's, it, it doesn't happen like that. You know, it's always very surprising to me, too. Oh, when we ruined it for me now, because that's the way I thought. <laughs> I mean, by the way, he still does wear the tiger pants. All oh, right, OK. Yeah, he wears, good, he wears the tiger that, pants, yeah. just yeah, yeah. because. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he, he really cares about what people think. He wants his fans to love his music. He, he works so hard on his music. I mean, this current album, The Heavy Entertainment Show, I think is his best album yet because he has literally poured himself into this album. I mean, he's, he probably wrote 65 songs for the entire album. Mm. I think, you know, what, what's it's on there is album. 11. It's a, it's a lot of album. <laughs> um, you know, and I think that fear of failure really drives him. He doesn't want to just rest on the laurels of being Robbie Williams and let me just put this out. He really... do, you think, do you think he was very much affected as well in the early days yeah. with some of the horrible, I mean, there yeah, were some I mean, terrible listen, things written about 15, him. 15, 16, he was called the fat dancer from Take That. That, mm. that sucks, yeah. you know? That, that fat shaming a 15-year-old mm. is disgusting disgusting to me and it has stayed with him I mean my poor hubby's been on a diet ever since you know mm. he he did literally he's the one at Christmas time that's like no I won't have any pie oh. you know and it's like he should have pie on his birthday and Christmas yeah, yeah. pie for my man but you know you know you get you get called fat enough times or chubby or tubby mm. or whatever jokes mm. they want to make and it's you know it sticks with you and yeah. I think I think that drives him to be the best he can be he wants to prove to everyone that he's that he's that he's in shape and that he's fit and that he's talented mm. and he's passionate I mean, he he loves his fans so much I think he just never wants to let them down so he literally there's not a moment he has off you know those years in between albums he's not off mm. he's mm. he's riding away in our house do, like furiously you think that's by the way I, I was one of the first journalists ever to interview take that when he was you know like a teeny. teenager with peroxide blonde hair and he was not in the slightest bit fat no. but anyway um and still isn't but do you think he's a working class kid isn't he do you think that yes. it, it's you that know, sort of drive absolutely i mean yeah. he's at the end of the day he's he's a working class kid and he's a grafter you know rob grafts he doesn't he doesn't take things easy he puts a hundred percent i think there's always that fear that it could all go away he, he could go back to, to to where it all started and i think i think he really is just just one of the most determined, um, driven people, and I find it so inspiring in him because he could just be sat there, just going, oh, a bit of this, a bit of that, yeah. and he—he's not like that at all. It's, it's every every song, every album is it's as if it's his first, and it matters that it's much. Always... If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here, so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.